Hey y'all, so today we're gonna make these chic, chicken minis. Um, that's yeah, chick fil -A inspired. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and soaked my, um, well, I, I got some chicken tenderloins and I cut them in threes. And that's how we got them to those bite sized pieces. And then I went ahead and um, soaked my chicken bites in some pickle juice, okay? Cause word has it, that's how Chick-fil-A get the flavor that they get. They soak the chicken in pickle juice. So we're gonna get that a try and see how that turns out. I'm gonna toss in some seasoning salt, some black pepper, some lemon pepper, not too much. To me, lemon pepper always goes well on chicken and seafood. Little paprika. Y'all, I did get me some slap your mama. You know I had to go on a hunt for that. So, cause I was out and very disappointed. Cause you know, the food wasn't hitting like I wanted it to hit, you know what I'm saying? Cause it didn't give it that slap your mama effect. Cause you know, that's so necessary. Garlic powder. And we ain't gonna do the most with these flavors, okay? Cause we are making Chick-fil-A mini. In my kitchen where there's no pork. We're gonna give it a toss. I'm gonna add a little seasoning to the flour as well. What I wanna do for this recipe is get you some um, Sister Schubert's Parker House style yeast rolls, baby. Cause this was gonna be um, the key to making the perfect chick bites. Okay, we gonna call these chick bites anyway. Cause Chick-fil-A ain't got shit to do with this. But we gonna call these chick bites, all right? Keep the mess to a minimum. I did go ahead and put my flour in the bag. I added my seasoning and I dropped in my chicken bites because I want to make sure that they are fully coated. Now that my grease is hot and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in. And instead of hash browns, y'all, we gonna have potato rounds. So all I did was I got my potatoes Rest the potatoes and I just slice them up. As you can see, you see that beautiful brown color. Cause Chick fil A ain't got shit on me, okay? And they season good. And y'all, because I keep it real, I'm gonna just go ahead and say yes, I did leave my buns on my rolls in the oven a little bit too long, but that's okay, cause we are gonna go ahead and brush them off with um, the honey and butter anyway. And they should be fine. They still edible, but they did bake a little longer than I desired. I'm here trying to multitask. It's school time. The girls um, homeschool, they doing virtual learning. So I'm trying to get them ready for school and Make sure they get set up and prepare their breakfast at the same time. So, but don't worry about that. And there you have it. No pork chick minis. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right now.